I'm hey, so hungry. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. Is it a honey lollipop? Okay, I'll tell you what. You give me the lollipop and I'll let you go through. Just this once. Mm. Deliciously unhealthy. Actually, I think the honey made it even healthier. Can't be. Healthy things don't taste good. Since when are weird weasels like you health experts anyway? Seems like animals can do anything here. I wouldn't be at all surprised by a weasel that's a health expert. <laughs> Oh, hello. Uh, what? Is this like, what? Is this like we are an, we are actually living as animals? Oh dear. It's a crow. Aha! Hard cake. I get it. What was that? Someone is being attacked by a crow. Hey, it's Ursula. Hard cake to the crow. Well, if the pigeons in the park go for this kind of thing. Uh. At least Anya's cupcakes seem to appeal to birds. Oh, If I'm too close, eh? I said you were gonna throw it. Let's try and. The shoelace still looks quite usable. I'll take it with me. What does the sign say? Do not take the shoelace. The sign says, Half into the swamp. Beware of mosquitoes. The large river back there has burst its banks. Looks like everyone had to leave in a hurry. Around. Oh, if I get too close this way, he turns around. Oh, maybe if I offer the shoelace, we can get out. Make it even madder. How do we get rid of it though? Hmm, that's the same symbol I saw in my magical letter. The sign of the tree walkers. Maybe somebody left that here because there's a tree portal nearby. Another one. What a pretty flower. I think I've seen it on the label of one of Mum's relaxation teas. I'll grab a bud to take along. Yoink. All right. Yeah, if I try and go around that way. Yes, I can't. I can't really interact with anything beyond this point. So that's what's going. The bicycle. No. The lodge looks like. I'm sorry. I can't. Food is vending machine. <gasps> I can't get through here. There's a very deep puddle in the way. Okay. So, can I poke it with that a stick? That will make it even madder. Nope. Maybe I can flick the antenna to chase off the crow, but I can't reach the antenna. Maybe I can... Yep. Gotcha! Drat, it won't budge. Oh, yeah. Oopsie. Oh well, who needs that antenna anyway? Hmm, now I can throw the rope, just like a grappling hook. So do I do that again? Leave the little owl alone or I'll let you have it! Hmm. 
Okay, again. There, now you're in for it. Ha. Yay. <laughs> Eventual progress. No reason to thank me. I, magician's apprentice, Jerry Hazelnut, gladly help wherever I can. Hooray! I saw everything. You're a hero. Not really. You're just like my friend Uli. Unfortunately, he's too <laughs> Here, take this. Where did you come what from? What is it? A flyer. A mouse has to make a living, you know. Wow. What says he said flyer? I'm a hero. I'd better take you home now, Ursula. You can ride in my backpack. She was still clutching a crow feather. Did Ursula pluck that from the crow? Are you following my? <laughs> the virtuoso Maxim Malsikov currently resides in Mousewood and is prepared to teach one, but only one, highly gifted apprentice the art of playing the violin. Interested parties, please apply. Too bad I'm not very musical. Alas. Notice. Here's a handwritten note. Beware, this is crow territory. For as long as it's unsafe by the river, I will be broadcasting from the swamp. Mousewood Radio, the voice of Mousewood won't give up. Signed, Ludwig Borrower. P.S. All right, I do give up. Now the swamp path is flooded as well. I'm going to be off the air until it's cleared. The building is a shambles. I can't shake the feeling that the crows around here are pretty unpleasant company. Hmm. We don't know where that's going. We can't go that way. Well, here's the mail on bicycle. This looks like a little flight of stairs. But the mushrooms will have to grow a bit before I can climb the tree. Hmm. Then I can investigate why it's snowing up there. Hmm. This looks like a little flight of stairs. But the mushrooms. Hmm. Then want I can. The dew drop. Thank you very much. Hmm. The front wheel is frozen to the spot. Oh, can you believe it? But the weather has been really strange around this tree for the last couple of weeks. And now, it's even started to snow up there. Oh, I've got too much to do. But without my mail bike, I can't deliver the mail. Uh, okay. It's still a swift, cold, pebbly, babbling brook. Shouldn't the uh, subtitles for that? We're all right for... There's only one keg of blue juice left. Looks like Mousewood is running out of blue juice. Blue juice. Every keg a treat. Only two leaf bucks. Take a jug for some good luck. A quality product from the friendly wood dwarves. There's an asterisk next to the word friendly and some small print <laughs> at the bottom. The purchase or consumption of this wood dwarf product in no way <laughs> obliges the wood dwarf to treat their customers in a friendly manner. Of course not. Uh, I should probably actually take a slip back. <laughs> uh, okay. What does the note say? Quarantine. Our housemate Steinberg Woodwolf has come down with a terrible disease. He is grouchy and grumpy and in a really bad mood. So he's and a now he is also sick and coughing and sneezing. Do not disturb. Until the quarantine ends, we are going to camp out in the cold woods on the muddy ground. Therefore, we are also grouchy and grumpy <laughs> and in a really bad mood. Production of blue juice will be discontinued until Steinberg recovers. Uh... Soft steel and logger, wood dwarfs. Uh. The great Zara, clairvoyant illusionist, coming soon to a theatre near you. When and where? Strange. Here. The great Zara. I wonder if that was his stuff in the trunk, his top hat. Yeah, we kind of borrowed that, haven't we? <laughs> Yay! Where did you? Ooh, stuff. He just randomly appeared now. Wow. If it isn't Jerry, the promising young tree walker that everyone's going on about. 
You wouldn't happen to have a fire spell handy, would you? That's me, but I'm still in training, you know. Gossip spreads fast here. I hope you realise that I was only joking about the fire spell. After all, my bike is built from a matchbox. It would burn like kindling. <laughs> uh, I assume you're Plato the Mailman. Are you Plato the Mailman? Well, if these packages don't get delivered today, I'll just be plain old Plato the Frog. Oh. Hmm, your bicycle really stuck in the ice, is it? Your bicycle is really stuck in the ice, huh? Well, I expect the ice will have melted by tomorrow, but that won't do me any good. If I don't deliver the packages today, I'll soon be out of a job. Hmm, maybe I can help you. Okay. See you Good later. luck, Plato. See you later. Thanks. Oh, what a nuisance. And I was going to go out with Anya tonight. What if I grab that, will you? Are these your packages and letters? No, but I am responsible for them. But now my bike's got stuck here and there's nothing I can do about it. That means I can't deliver the mail. I've never been this late on my round. Would you like me to distribute the mail for you? Hmm. Her? You'd really do that for me? Sure. I'll be running to and fro all day anyway. Oh, that would be a tremendous help. Then I can guard my bike. You know, my delicate frog's legs are better suited for cycling than for marching through the woods. No problem. Consider the mail delivered. Right, I'm gonna have to actually look at what Ursula, looks like you messed it all up. Oh, it's impossible to stay mad at her for long. No. To Mr. Church Mouse Senior. Hmm. I wonder what's in it. Oh, you've just completely rejigged all my stuff. Okay, I see. Uh. Okay, I'm not. Okay, that's really messed with my recording. Uh, I don't know how long I've been recording on here. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, yeah. I accidentally clicked outside the monitor. Outside of the, the thing, outside the screen, because uh, I, I, I'm going all the way over to the left. I'm now on my other screen. Um, and I, I accidentally clicked too far off. And so uh, the game went... This package is addressed to Miss Edith Squirrel. The return address is Super Squirrel Boutique. Ah, okay. So yes, uh, the game minimised, and there was a bit of a panic. My package at last! Isn't it a super smart and drop dead stylish purse? Everyone will want to invite me to the theatre now. Thank you. Here, a tip for you. You can buy yourself something stylish too, then you do already have a stylish hat. <laughs> right, what have we got? We've got. To the charming voice of Radio 103.5. Aha! Well, he's in here. Special delivery for Mr. Burrower. Ah, my first fan letter. Dear Mr. Burrower. I am a long-time listener of your program, and, uh, hmm, full of whispers, intellectual cheesecake. <laughs> yes! Fan letter? What a fan. As thanks for your delivery, please take a small promotion. Take this wonderful mug and say with pride, I listen to Swamp Radio 103.6, uh, 5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. Thanks. I have to get to Mr. Church Mouse. Mr. Mouse. Mr. Mouse. Mr. Mouse. Mr. Mouse. Mr. Um. There he is again. You've got the wrong man. Come. Okay. Okay. Don't do two random reveals. Okay. We, that's not a random reveal. We know he's going around. He's gone again. A lizard? What is going on? I should probably give Ursula back. <laughs> Give oh, her back. Thanks. I've been waiting a long time for this. My language instruction package. Coconut Palm Island Ease overnight on 30 cassettes. 
Oh. I need to be well prepared if I want to retire there. Uh, are you waiting for something? A tip, maybe? We are church mice. We have nothing to just give away. Here, Jonathan, here is your daughter. No, I your daughter. I think she feels really comfy in my backpack. What am I talking about? Your daughter? Your daughter? I found your niece. Little Ursula? Ooh -hoo. I'm a little confused. Attacker. Oh, ooh. How is she? Tell me. Oh, ooh. She's fine. <laughs> Out of my pocket. I chased off the crow. The feather shows me that you speak the truth. I thank you, Jerry. You are a true tree walker. That is what we call animals who help others in need. Oh. Good work, Jerry. I'm proud of you. Yay. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Kablingle, Kablingle, Kablingle. Oh, so we've, got, we've got a magical letter. The letter looks strange. It's addressed to Senor Molina. It's from M. Calavera, travel agent. Okay. Molina? Right, that's right. Strange mailbox. You've got mail. Thank you. No problem. Huh? Who said that? I don't know. A one leaf buck. What was available for one leaf buck back here? So it might be that we can. We're supposed to buy this thing. Was it the Valerian drops? All these nightcap sleeping drops. It says a bottle costs one leaf buck, but I only have one. One single leaf buck. Well. Didn't realise I would be buying it straight away. Coolies nightcap, sleeping drops. I'm not sure what I would use this, what I'd use it on then. So I don't think I can spike his drink. 